holder of taste. In any city, in any country, go to any fast food restaurant you can get yourself to. Quietly walk to the counter and order the number four. While you pay, ask the cashier to see a man who calls himself the holder of taste. The cashier will grimace, as if tasting something revolting. Then take your money and leave. You must sit in the farthest booth from the counter, lest the holder notice you before it is time. When your order is called, if the employee who calls it is different, calmly leave and go home. It would be wise of you to eat nothing for the remainder of the week for you would be slowly and eternally consumed from within. If the employee is the same, take your food and take one bite from each item neatly. Watch for a man behind the counter who looks as if he does not belong. He'll have a fedora of the deepest black, a black trench coat with an upturned collar, and glowering green eyes set above a mouth grotesquely stitched shut. Once he passes the cashier thrice, stand and walk behind the counter. Look for the nearest door, and enter with your mouth open and your eyes closed. As you walk forward, you will taste the grandest and most horrid of things. These sensations will assault your mind, and you will soon find your efforts to focus on anything else to be futile. Repress the urge to swallow or gag, for the air is tainted with the breath of the damned. The poison is sweet, and each gluttonous gulp will bring you closer to a searing demise. Continue your walk until you bump into a door, for if you have not been consumed, you will find it. You may open your eyes and close your mouth. The noise behind the door should be cheering and applause, for if it is not, they have anticipated your arrival, and will not hesitate to devour you piecemeal for eternity. Open the door, and you will be in the audience of a cooking show. The host will be the green-eyed man from before. His emerald eyes will catch yours for a moment and the tremor of terror you feel will be far beyond any you have felt before. Show no fear, and sit casually in the audience. Once he begins to ignore you, watch the show. The test will begin. He is unable to speak, but the audience will watch raptly as he flies about, preparing a meal of human flesh. Faces will appear in the bowl, faces of those you love those you hate, and those you do not recognize. Despite the savagery, you may feel a hunger boil within you. Ignore the man's muted invitation for the audience to taste his cookery, for it is poison to you and your quest. As the show reaches a climax, he will begin to take audience members and put them into the oven and on the stove, or butcher them. He will pick around you, but you must not start when his gaze slides over you. They are watching in the seats around you, but cannot affirm your presence if you remain calm. After, the stage will be flooded with fans. Brave this surge to reach the man, despite him being oblivious to your presence. He will not notice you until you ask the question. Will we have a sample of the end? Everything will stop, and he will stride angrily towards you, grasping you and hoisting you into the air. Look at his face and focus on the stitches of his mouth. They will stretch and tear apart hurriedly, revealing multiple tongues whipping back and forth, along with rows of teeth set at a disturbing angle in his mouth. With the top of his head thrown back, he will recount the unspeakable horrors that will preface the end. The words will begin to burn themselves into your mind, and you will feel each of the awful tortures as they spill from his wretched mouth, seeming to flow into an endless stream of pain. 
He will then fly into an unspeakable rage, find a knife and decapitate him. Reach into the throat of the body, ignoring the gag reflex and the threats of inhuman tortures. His burst stomach is your object. Now that you've sampled what will come, 